break the rules. Look out! I become a hero. I do it, I become the enemy. That doesn't seem fair. Yo what is going on guys, Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and for today's video we'll be breaking down the second trailer they dropped for this film during Super Bowl and holy crap guys there are so many insane things in this trailer which I can't wait to talk about. We got to see a couple of crazy cameos during this film, we do obviously get a first look at Evil Wanda and of course some new additional footage, we got to see multiple different variants of different characters, there's just so many stuff to break down and I can't wait to talk about it. But before I go over anything however you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more MCU videos coming your way. Okay so the trailer kicks off with Doctor Strange waking up from a nightmare and he is essentially witnessing reality warping from across the multiverse. He does mention that every night he is seeing the same dream and I do really like this idea where the nightmares are actually reality itself. But yeah we do get the shot over here with Doctor Strange in this very chaotic reality warping. He is looking at another version of the Sanctum and in this reality that is all that remains. Everything is pretty much gone but the Sanctum Sanctorum is still there. This could most probably be the world where Doctor Strange Supreme comes from but I'm not entirely sure. It is also possible that Doctor Strange is actually seeing as in like living in the point of view of his variants. So he thinks that they are dreams but it is actually real and it is pretty much the lives of multiverse versions of himself that could also be a possibility. We do know that we will be getting multiple versions of Doctor Strange in this film. During the trailer we do see five different versions of Doctor Strange. Obviously we have Doctor Strange, we have Defender Strange. We have Doctor Strange Supreme, we have Zombie Strange and near the end of this trailer we do see like another version of Zombie Strange and like he has like multiple different arms, he seems to be he seems to be consumed by like dark magic and all those sorts of stuff. So we do have five different versions of Doctor Strange in this film. Whether we will get more, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, this film is packed with different versions of Doctor Strange. We do then get this shot of this monster tying America Chavez up and it's about to rip her into pieces. She will definitely be able to escape somehow and behind her we do see a star shaped portal and this is essentially what America Chavez is able to do. She is able to open up pocket dimensions to other realities and universes so that is most probably going to be how Doctor Strange will be able to travel across the multiverse. He will do it by getting the help of America Chavez. We then see Doctor Strange saying I did what I did in order to save the world and over here he is obviously talking about casting the spell during Spider-Man No Way Home. We do over here have Doctor Strange using chaos magic in this shot so I am assuming that Wanda will teach Strange how to use it maybe through the dark hole or maybe through some other stuff maybe Wanda will just show him how to use it. But we then have Strange talking to Wong about what he did where we do have Wong mentioning how Strange will not be able to just control everything and how he did pretty much open doors to the multiverse going into madness. We do get the shot of Doctor Strange in a warping New York City. Once again this is from another universe but the trailer does also allude to other visitors coming into the main MCU universe as well as we do have what it looks to be, I'm not entirely sure but this is most probably Shuma Gorath over here and as you can see he's attacking civilians and we do also have America Chavez being put in danger as well and that is until Doctor Strange obviously arrives and saves her. This is most probably how they're going to meet for the very first time but this could also be during the middle of the movie, I'm not entirely sure. But we do also have some Wanda shots to go over. So we do obviously have Doctor Strange asking for Wanda's help in regards to her knowledge on the multiverse in which she does mention that Vision had a couple of theories about it and that it is dangerous. 
But from a bunch of different shots in this trailer, we now know that Wanda is officially the big bad of the movie. She's full on Scarlet Witch mode and she's not letting anything stand in her way. From where we left off in WandaVision, I would assume that she is just looking for her kids from across the multiverse, so when Strange comes with this proposal about the multiverse, she will tag along and she will pretty much act like she's an ally, but in, re in reality she's actually trying to look for her kids. So maybe what's happening over here is that the more she alters with something, the worse and worse reality begins to warp, and that is most probably where the conflict between Strange and Wanda will play out. From what we are seeing in the trailer, Elizabeth Olsen is just going to kill it. We do also have this interesting scene where Wanda as the Scarlet Witch is comparing both of Strange's and her actions and she thinks it's unfair that Strange claims to be the hero when he does something similar to Wanda and when Wanda did that same thing, it paints her as a villain. Now this is the exact same setting as the scene where Strange goes to Wanda to get her help in the first place and Strange is also wearing the exact same clothes. So was the previous scene just an illusion? Who knows, it is possible but maybe it's just something else, maybe it's just coincidence. She is acting very evil and I am honestly digging this version of Wanda a lot more. We do see her visiting a multiverse version of Westview as well, most probably by trying to find her kids from a different universe, and she just comes across a variant of herself. Her variant is comforting her as our Wanda just breaks down into tears. As I said, Elizabeth Olsen is going to kill her, and you can just tell from the way she's acting in these different shots in the trailer. We do have her acting as a villain, we do have her breaking down into tears, and... She's playing multiple versions of herself, which we do see in the trailer as well. So yeah, she's just going to kill it. But yeah, Wanda's breaking down into tears, most probably due to her seeing this version of herself and her family living a happy life in Westview. And she pretty much is having a, the life that Wanda wanted to have, but she never got to have it. So what I'm assuming is going on over here is that she's going to go to this version of Westview. She's going to try and get her kids back but she just cannot bring herself to do it. Maybe that's what's going on over here. This version of Wanda does look scratched, so it is clear that her and our Wanda will most probably face off against each other. We do also have another version of Wanda covered in blood as well, and she's most likely going to be zombie Wanda from What If. And she is facing off against this person with some incredibly powerful abilities by the looks of it. And there are multiple theories on who it could be. There is obviously a theory going around saying that this could be a variant of Captain Marvel as it does look like a Captain Marvel ability. Others say that it could be a variant of Monica Rambeau. Others say it could be Maria Rambeau which is obviously Monica Rambeau's mother and it could be a variant of her. But the one that stood out to me the most was Superior Iron Man. I think that is very, very likely. It is very hard to tell who it is, which is why there are so many theories about this. But if this is Superior Iron Man, that would just be insane. And it would make sense at the same time. And here is why. So in the trailer, we do get the multiverse version of the Illuminati. And that is how they gave the X-Men their debut through Professor X being part of the Illuminati. And he is obviously in the trailer as well. It is just crazy, but obviously the way they did this is through bringing in multiverse versions of different characters such as Baron Mordo. Now in regards to this version of Baron Mordo we are seeing right now, it could either be the main Baron Mordo of the MCU or it could be a multiverse version of Baron Mordo, we don't know for sure, but we do hear him say, your desecration of reality will not go unpunished. And here, Strange is put on trial by the Illuminati. There are six chairs, so it is safe to say that we are getting six members of the Illuminati. One is Baron Mordo, and the other, as we see briefly in the trailer, but we can hear from the voice, and we can tell for sure through a leaked photo, that is Patrick Stewart's Professor X from the X-Men movies. So yeah, this is pretty much confirming that finally the X-Men are part of the MCU and it is just crazy. Professor X will be in this movie and he is the one talking to Doctor Strange. There are multiple other possibilities in regards to the members of the Illuminati as in the comics we did have a version of Captain America being a member of the Illuminati so they could possibly do a twist on this where Captain Carter from What If could be the Captain America of the Illuminati. That is possible. Same goes for Iron Man which is why the superior Iron Man does make sense. Reed Richards is obviously someone 
in the comics who was part of the Illuminati as well. And since this is a multiverse movie after all, anything is possible. But yeah, Strange is most probably standing trial due to the events of Spider-Man No Way Home with the repercussions of him casting the spell. But we do obviously see him escaping as later on in the trailer we do see him facing off against Baron Mordo. So yeah, he's not going to be executed or anything like that. He will be able to escape in some way or maybe they will just release him. But lastly, we do have a couple of shots of Kamartaj getting attacked. Why? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe Wanda wants to grab hold of America Chavez to help her travel across the multiverse. This could also be Baron Mordo going to take Strange into custody. We do also have some visually insane shots of America Chavez and Doctor Strange falling across different realities. They fall into the comics universe at one point which was actually pretty cool to see. And they are in this dinosaur era and they are also covered in cubes. In one of the shots so that is pretty interesting as well and yeah i'm just really really intrigued to see what is going on in this movie it looks absolutely crazy the trailer looks crazy and the cameos look crazy as well so yeah i'm very very excited for this movie and i can't wait to see it but yeah guys thanks for watching if you guys have enjoyed the video please give a like and subscribe be sure to tell me in the comment section down below if you guys are excited for this movie or not and also be sure to tell me in the comment section down below which cameo would you be most excited to see as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.